Well, good evening YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino and we have this beer right here from Trailway. This is one of the beers that was left here at the after the beer festival from Nicholas Pickles. So this is Trailway Brewing Company's El Generico. It's a 3.8% alcohol beer. Uh, it's a sour ale. It says tart, acidic, kettle soured. So it sounds sort of like I'm not going to enjoy it all that much. Helga, come here. Helga, come here. Come here, girl. This is the one that's been so loud lately. This is the German Shepherd Mastiff Puppy. At this point, she is 11 weeks old. There, right there, is Boris putting his head up here. Boris is 15 weeks old. He's the boxer puppy. Uh, I don't. Other than the coloring, I don't see the mastiff. She doesn't have big paws. She doesn't have a huge size. But she's loud. And she's sweet. I love you, little one. There you go. Be quiet. Okay. I kind of wish Lee was here. Uh, Lee Russell, formerly L. Harlock of Hoogley's Beer Reviews, basically does the uh, Must Be Destroyed on Site podcast now, as well as guest podcasting on other people's podcasts. But I wish he was here because uh, there's so many, so many masks here. So many Lucha Libre masks on this can. And I just spilt some of this beer on this here table. And I just don't really care. She's going to bark. See, what what Boris does is he jumps up on the bed and table and stuff because he knows she can't get on it. So she barks at him because she wants to get the bone or toy or whatever he has, but he goes up on things that she can't jump on, up on. She is more than capable to get up on them, but she won't try. She did the stairs much earlier than he did, but she won't try the, the couch and bed and stuff. Now, on the other hand, she does the same thing to him. He doesn't like the crates. I, I don't like crate training, but I use the crates uh, use the crates specifically in the instances of their puppies and I'm not home. Uh, once they're older, I'll let them out of their crates. Uh, but And they sleep with me. They don't sleep in their crates. The crates are specifically for confining them when I'm not at home. And she doesn't care about the crate. She'll go in on her own. Him, he hates it. So what she'll do is she'll take the bones or toys that he likes and she'll go into the crate because he won't follow her in there. So, I mean, they, they do it to each other. Anyway, nice yellow color. Lots of haze. It's, it's kind of floating haze, though. Like, it's crystal clear right at the bottom, but, and then there's this floating just haziness. Uh, there was some bright white head, but I was talking about my dogs during the time. None of these masks... Uh, actually, that mask kind of looks like the... Uh, Hoogly mask, and that mask right there kind of looks like the mask I used to have. Uh, my Lucha Libre mask. Anyway, let's give the beer a sniff. Yeah. Lemon, lime, mango, and that... Oh, it does it out of the can, too. Lemon, lime, mango, and that sort of super sweet, almost body odor scent. Uh, you know, there, there are some body odors that... that uh, like, mango absolute reminds me of, of a body odor. There are some body odors that are just kind of sickly sweet, and that kind of reminds me of it. That's the paradigm I'm getting from it. Where are you going, Helga? Going upstairs to poop? You haven't pooped in the last two hours? I bet you that's what you're doing. We were outside an hour ago. We were outside 20 minutes ago as well. She peed both times. No poop. I bet you when I'm done this review, I'll go upstairs and there'll be a poop. Cheers, let's try the beer. Actually, I was worried I wasn't going to like that, but that's not horrible. Bready and tannic end. Uh, the finish is bready and tannic. Almost like you chewed a, uh, well, like you had a, a nice nice bun, or you uh, you chewed on a, uh, a rind. Uh, forefront, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of lime. A little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of sour apricot, and then that bready biscuitiness. And it all fades away real quickly. Very light flavored beer, very light bodied beer, uh, very easy drinking beer, very Moorish. This is a very good sour beer. I have not had much from Trailway, so I was a little worried. 
because I've had some sour beers from other breweries that just don't do it very well. You, you seem to have. You kind of have to specialize in sours from what I've noticed or have somebody that really knows what they're doing with sours to make a good sour. Uh, this, this remind, this, uh, if you gave me this blind, I would probably think it was from Half Hours on Earth because it tastes a lot like a lot of his brews. I really like this. I'm going to give this an 8.25 out of 10. I really like this. El Generico is not a generic... It is not a generic sour ale. This is a good sour ale. If you're really into sour ales, you'll probably like it. If you're really into mouth puckering sour sour ales, you might not. If you're new to sour ales, this this reminds me a lot of say the Duchess de Burgoyne and stuff like that. Not not in the flavor profile, but in the approachability. You can approach this and try it even if you're not huge on the style. So thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir, I'll be in toast. See you soon. Bye-bye.